Now, it's time for this. The World of Woke. You might remember a time when you could wander freely through any market town in the country and find a wide variety of things to buy. Might be a bit of tat here, some sweets there, the odd hot dog stand, and even a place to buy some interesting looking cheese. Well, beware the wokists because they're out to get you. No longer will you have the freedom to choose which stalls to frequent because that will all be chosen for you. No longer will you have the free will to spend your money as you wish. Oh no, those days are gone. And do you know why? Because local councils are making new rules and changing the way they want you to shop. Take Saxmundum. And I'm sure that's probably not the right pronunciation. It's a charming little market town in Suffolk, which has actually had a market charter since 1272. Every Wednesday since that charter was invented, uh, there has been a Wednesday market to go along with a Thursday and a Saturday one. But this month, the local council Jobsworths have taken it upon themselves to change the way the market operates, because according to them, not enough people are actually going. In their wisdom, they've decided to uproot some of the stalls and replace them with more, shall we say, politically correct versions. You know the kind of thing. Yogurt knitters delights, chai lattes, avocado on toast stands. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid the burgers of Saxmundum have gone woke. And as a result, Kevin Hilliard has been dumped onto the junk heap. Kevin has been selling sweets at the market for 25 years. His pick and mix stall has been renowned countywide for its jelly babies, flying saucers, sherbet dabs and fruit gums. But now he's been told to hop it. He's been given a month to quit the stall because they want it for a rebrand with a focus on fresh produce. The locals are having none of it, though, and a petition signed by over a 1,000 people has shocked the council, and now they may even have to reconsider their crazy decision. Council clerk Sharon Smith defended the plan, saying, despite the success and support we have experienced for the monthly Saturday markets, this has not carried over to Wednesdays, which are a source of regular complaints, use valuable council resources and are not well respected by the public. Sounds like a load of old cobblers to me. What council resources exactly? What complaints? It all sounds like wokery gone mad. Nobody actually likes raisins covered in yoghurt or vegan biscuits. Get over yourself, Sax Mundham. If they could have made it work in the 13th century, pull your fingers out and make it work now. The world of work.